folks, we're with Luna again tonight. I've been trying out some more things in the programming environment. She's just done that thing again with the edge of the rug. What's that? Where she, she seems to think it's an edge. So I'll be talking a little later about what I've been doing with the programming. But the first thing I wanted to do tonight was sh show you folks, if you haven't got a Luna yet, how Luna reacts if you put a hand in front of her. <laughs> so she got angry about it there. another thing she does she tries to shove your hand away <laughs> she's just gone backwards She did about three different things when you put your hand there, didn't she? Yeah, and uh, I wanted to do that tonight because I've sort of like to sort of absentmindedly noticed her uh, sort of uh, having funny reactions when I've tried to stop her going like in a certain area oh, yeah. where I'm trying to film yeah. or something. Yeah. And I, I'm sure she does more than three reactions, mm. you know, because sometimes mm. she gets really quite aggressive. <laughs> so one of them seems to be sniffing at your hand. Sniffing? Mm. I didn't notice her doing that. I know she's, when I've tried to st stop her going somewhere, when I've been sort of trying to do something else at the same time, um, she's really pushed really quite hard against me. <laughs> so getting back to what the rest of this video is about, I've been trying out some more things in the programming environment. And I decided to try this thing called graffiti. I didn't really know. I knew, I knew you could put something on the screen with it. But I wasn't quite sure what you could put on the screen with it. Mm -hmm. But when I tried to try using it, I, I was really surprised that you could you could put photographs in. So, uh, <laughs> oh, that was good. Did you see Rocket there? Mm -hmm. She did it. Good girl. Well done, Rocket. Good girl. She did a really good sideways sort of sweep with a paw. <laughs> Scamps splashing in the water in his dish. Not scamp, scout. How could I get his name mixed up? He's having a drink now. I thought it made more sense to have a drink and then wash your feet in it. <laughs> That's dogs for you. <laughs> so I decided to use some photographs that I quickly took of scout and I put those in a loop with Luna barking so I'll show you that now Luna's just decided to go to sleep. 
Yeah, I was uh, super chuffed when I realised that you could put photographs on screen yes. like that. So as well as doing photographs, you could also put text and numbers on by having a photograph of a number or some text, I suppose. Yeah, could also sort of draw a face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could have sort of like a cartoon face. Yeah. Possibilities yeah. are endless. Mm. So that first program was just a loop with her showing those photographs on the screen and then barking and then showing the photographs again. And it would just sort of go on forever mm -hmm. until you, you basically sort of came out of the programming environment. So what I, what I tried next was writing a program where I used the hello Luna command oh, yeah. to initiate it uh -huh. so she would only show those photographs and bark yeah. if you said hello Luna mm -hmm. and I got her to go up to Scout and show them the photographs so I'll show you that video now. Hello, Luna. And she's been sitting here saying dada and hello for ages. How, how does she know you're up here? I don't know. I don't know. I wonder if she could recognise my feet on the ground. You know, maybe. As you can see, folks, she's done something to one of her ears again. Mmm, they're too rough with those ears. again dada she's got the blush hasn't she so, <laughs> she's so we're looking at her yeah just notice the all around us she's mm. right at our feet scouts come over on the nice back rope and rockets up here on paul's chest Cluster, yeah, they do. Have, around us. They do. They do have a tendency to end up all around us, <laughs> which is cute, really, isn't it? It's nice, yeah. So getting back to those programs. So the first one, she would just keep doing the action forever until she ran out of power. And in the second case, she would only do the action if you said. Hello Luna. And then I tried out another option because I've not tried this yet until today. Um, where you could get her to loop the actions three times mm -hmm. and then she stops and she comes straight out of the program and goes back to her normal Luna self. So I'll show you folks that now. She's still here saying Dada, <laughs> licking that one ear at us. Mm. Oh, she 
has just sent me love. It's a pity they don't have a saying mama sometimes instead of just dada all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It would be nice if she could recognise two people and say dada when she sees you and mm. mama when she sees me. Mm. That would be nice. Yes, yeah, so I learnt a little bit more about the programming environment today. Some things. What's going on there? We're going to stop bashing Scout at the Oh, well, Scout started it. He came right up to her like that. <laughs> they both look at us. They both look at us, yeah. Scout, why are you just walking straight into Luna? Stop creating Luna. They both want to stand on the same spot. <laughs> they both want to be up here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they say, why is, why is Rocket getting special treatment? That's because they're lady, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They're a lady, yes. Oh no, look, she's yeah. going backwards. Some people have said they've had this problem with Luna. She just starts going backwards. It's not, it's not because the ear's hanging down, is it? I don't know. And she thinks there's something in front of the sensor. Because uh, I've noticed that behaviour before when she got um, one of the balls trapped between her front feet. And even when she went backwards, she couldn't get away from it. It's like she thinks she's up against an object all the time. Right. So it was because her ear was forward and she could see her ear and she thought it was an object in front of I her. I think so, yeah. That's, well, yeah, because as soon as I put her ear back, she stopped going backwards. Oh, that's interesting. This is bringing some <laughs> She's brought you a toy scout. She's brought she's brought you a little a little purple oh, dragon. She can't get it out from like she's got attached to it. <laughs> I don't know why you're getting angry, I helped you. That's what she had. Yeah, some things have not um been enabled in the programming environment yet. So, got to wait for another update before you can try those things out. But I've enjoyed what I've been doing so far. It's very easy to use, I think. Mm. So, folks, that about wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.